Hello, welcome back. This video is going to be the continuation of the desk makeover. Last video, I made these speaker stands, and today specifically, I want to tackle this situation. Yeah, it just looks a little cluttered, doesn't it? I feel like everything is in its respective places, but it just looks like very unorganized, and I think we could do a better job. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take everything away, clean it out, and then start putting everything back in a better, more organized fashion. I'm finally done organizing everything. Um, it's still looking a little like hectic, but I think that's just who I am as a person. <laughs> so I feel like everything just kind of looks better and like less cluttered. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything off this top shelf. I'm gonna take all the art as well and the ukulele off, and then I'm gonna start planning where everything goes. I have a bunch of prints I wanna put up and um, yeah, I got a little lamp on Etsy as well, so that's gonna be cute. Um, enjoy. Okay, so I wanted to do a little haul of some of the prints and other decorative items I got. Um, my desk mat is a little bit dirty. Don't mention it, okay? Don't mention it, thank you. So first, I got some stickers and prints from Coco Gloss, Co yeah, on Etsy. Um, this one's like their thank you card, so this one's free. <laughs> and here are some of the stickers I got from them. Look at this cute. Thing I got. I know you're wondering, what is it? What is it? Um, let, let me let me put it together for you. Look at that! It's so cute. Um, I think I'm just gonna put this one like right here, my monitor stand. Next, I have this thing from Gelly Royce. So yeah, I got some sticker sheets from them. Um, and these are the two prints I got. I love them. Oh yeah, you guys saw me take this off the wall. Um, but this is actually real like these are real these aren't prints these are um originals and i actually got them from a friend of a friend her name is maya and this is her instagram and i bought them in indonesia she's i think she was like from bali or something um but yeah i got it from her and i love them so much that i brought them over here to the u.s and I actually have a bunch of other prints um well not they're not even prints they're originals a bunch of originals from her uh, up around so um yeah love her i don't know if she still sells stuff like this but if she does please support her she's amazing and i love the colors all right next i'm gonna literally open up my big pack of prints that I have been meaning to use and never did um, for this exact moment. Oh, well, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a huge fan of Titsé and like this wall um, behind my sofa, it's just like a bunch of their stuff mixed in with um, a bunch of other artists that I like. And so I, yeah, I have a bunch of prints from them that I am planning to put on. I might just have to like dump everything out right now and like sift through, that might be the way. Okay, sorry y'all. But here you go. Oh yeah, so one of my favorite artists is actually Apple Cheeks. Um, speaking of Apple Cheeks, let me do a little haul of her stuff. So Apple Cheeks made probably one of my favorite things I own. Oh yeah, these are some more Apple Cheeks. Oh, so a bunch of these are from Hannah B. Barra? Hannah B. Barra? They actually sent me a bunch of prints, but I didn't know what they were gonna send. And I actually loved a bunch of their prints when they made the store, so I actually bought a bunch too and so i have like doubles of everything <laughs> like see like i think this one i bought and then this one was sent by them so um if anybody wants 
I have doubles of these. Oh, and like I said, so these are made by Malin, 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 I don't know. <laughs> but I love their art so much, and I actually buy a lot of digital download only stuff. Um, I actually prefer digital download only because then I get to choose where like the sizing and everything oh and this is by also one of my favorite artists and it's um megan wang i think she just like does this perfect balance of just like super high quality like professional looking art but it has like a very childlike quality with the textures and the playfulness and the simplicity of certain things um yeah i really really like her stuff and this is also by megan wang oh and this is by chocolate i love that's the same person who did the my mat okay this cow definitely going up oh so yeah i have two of these similar looking ones okay so those are all the prints i have is options and let me show you a little bit of my knickknacks okay so first i have these two from i think they're from the same story i called smoko and then i have this little kirby plushie that I think my friend Amy got it. Yeah, and I will have to put this back up there because this is actually a cat laser and the cats love this. Oh, and also, I don't want to forget, but this is basically the center point of um, my whole shelf area. And it is this beautiful, beautiful digital art made by our team making on Twitter. Um, and yeah, I got it commissioned a while ago and it's of me and my man Asher, my soulmate, my everything, and our two cats. And yeah, I mean, he lives here too, so I wanted to include him. So yeah, please check this artist out. All the stuff they do is incredible and it's definitely my favorite thing I've ever gotten commissioned. Oh, okay, last but not least, this is the lamp I was talking about. And you get to, look at that. Isn't that so cool? So a while ago I was watching this video called Extreme Bedroom Makeover and Tour by Lin Chong, who is a creator that I love. And they had this like fan, but it was like more decorative. And I actually got a fan when I was in Indonesia last. And so I thought it'd be super cute to put this up, but the colors aren't really matching my style. So I remembered, I remembered. I actually bought a bunch of cute little batik shawls and I feel like I could cut it up and stick it on because these colors are definitely more of the vibe I'm going for. All right, so far, this is all that I can commit to because I do have some more prints coming. Um, and so I want to have everything that I might want to put up before I put them up, you know? Oh, and take a look at this. I love cute little lamps. But right now my brain is actually cooking up something and um, let me show you guys. So here we have my naked iMac. And the reason why I'm so naked is because I actually want to make like a monitor sleeve, but like not the one that covers everything, just the one on the side. Kind of like this video that I saw and I was like, I like that. But I'm stuck between doing like a tulip situation, kind of like what I did with my mic arm, or to do like a granny square thing, or to do a plain one that I can add stuff to it. I don't know. So I was thinking, Maybe I should do some mock-up. The more planning I have, the better it is. So I'm gonna make maybe like all the ideas I have, I'll draw them on and I'll show y'all. <laughs> okay, okay, everybody, welcome back to Rate That Mock-Up. Okay, so I had a bunch of different ideas. Let's start with the first one. So first I made this very simple looking checkered pattern. Um, 
and actually liked it to the point where I made a swatch and I thought I liked it and then I realized I didn't like it. So now we just have this swatch that we can use for other stuff. But yes, decided I didn't like it. So let's move on to number two. What's similar to a checkered pattern but better? Gingham. Gingham? Gingham. Um, didn't like it. Didn't like this either. So uh, moving on. So uh, next, for some reason, I thought that checkered and gingham wasn't crazy enough, wasn't colorful enough. So I made this mock-up. Um, no thank you. So I wanted to do something cute, something coquette perhaps. So this one is like the tulip, this tulip stitch, the tulip crochet stitch. Um, it was cute. I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. And then it finally hit me. This whole time, the answer has been the simplest one all along. Granny squares. And I made this mock-up with like a black yarn as the base. And I don't know, I feel like it's a little too dark. So I made one with a white background. And I think we have a winner. Okay, but because it's gonna be white and there's gonna be like a lot of gaps in between the grannies, um, I feel like I should cover up these darker sides with some white stuff. Uh, what that is? I'll figure it out, okay? Update, I found this vinyl wrap thing, so I'm gonna use this. So I am done with this strip of granny squares that'll go right here. I just have to figure out how to how to put it together, how to how to keep it taut, you know? So maybe I'll use um, an elastic, perhaps. So I have this thin piece of elastic and I decided to crochet a chain just to make it stronger. And now I'm just joining that with a single crochet on the top of the granny squares. Okay, so update, I'm done with the granny squares. Now I just have to finish up the corners and like the other sides. Guys, I am literally done with the crochet computer cover. And now, if Nico lets me, I will put it on the computer. For some reason, Nico really does not want you to take a good look at it, so. Ah, what are you doing? So now that the cover is on, I will continue to put up all the prints and knickknacks that I've been planning to put up on this video. Um, I'm probably going to leave some spaces open just so that I can grow into it. Um, but let me show you some new stuff I got. So, obviously you guys saw me make this. Um, this one's going to go right there, I think. And recently my friend Daph um, came to visit and she got some punch needle coasters that are just like way too cute to just be coasters. So I'm actually gonna be putting them up as decor. And also these two cute keychains. So I'm gonna be putting these up as little stuff, little dangling stuff on the wall.
finally done. And I know what you're probably wondering, Stephanie, this is only one side of the wall. Well, the plan is I'm gonna leave this wall empty for now and I'm just gonna keep putting more prints once I get them because I know I'm definitely gonna be buying a lot of art prints this year. So I was just like, no, let me put all of them onto one side. And if you think it's a little crazy, it's a little too much, um, then perhaps you do not have the too much gene that I have. Well, that means that my desk makeover is officially done for now. <laughs> I guess like whenever I end up putting those prints up here, I'll do like a video, which technically will be like a part three. But for now, um, I don't think I'll be doing anything else. Don't forget to tell me what you guys think of this video down in the comments below. If you do think it's too much, maybe you should spam it. Maybe you should just like give me the engagement, you know? <laughs> and I'm so glad that my backdrop looks this crazy and colorful, which I hope will match the projects I will be doing in the future. And if you want to see that, don't forget to subscribe. Ooh. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!